Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. That's such a I low quality camera. Well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. I mean, has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source, leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want, for us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. But what else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. Okay. <sighs> They're probably holding your father on the upper level. Same place they kept you. There's an elevator bank down the hall. Try not to let them see you. They know I'm here, Rebecca. Supposed to be a There's hidden no blade, does not they? Not just wear it on your arm. I can't run. Fine. Can I walk fast? No. Like the whole freaking building knows I'm here. Modern day, folks. Modern day. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. What? Oh yeah, Desmond's got chain kills. And magically appearing knives. Can I pick up the baton? Nope. Like, yeah. Where's my father? Yeah, kind of a dumb move. You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. Go. Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? What's up, guys? Can't see you think. There we go. Excuse me. Okay. 
like the over dramatic like use of guns. Fortunate. Good thing they can only fire their guns one time, just like a uh, just like a revolutionary pistol. And thankfully, they jumped through the window, giving me a hallway to work with. Oh hey, it's the AC1 room. Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Oh God, plot armor. Yet, get out! What the hell was that? What the hell is going on down there? Whoa, that ricocheting bullet. Kill him now. No. I hereby authorize the use of deadly hope. Kill the bastard, and then drink me the apple. Okay, I've caught him now. Oh, come on. Now he's just running in circles. What, what am I supposed to be doing here? There we go. Where's Vinny? This floor. Let me just hop into another elevator. That worked so well last time. It actually did work this time. That's amazing. Why didn't they stop my elevator this time? You killed him! Daniel was like a son to me. A pixie son, perhaps, but upon all of the robbers. He had come on my lucky end, and so well, and now you've taken him from me, from us, like the actor. I will do so, so we want to help the world, Desmond, to save it from itself. But you keep death in the way. All our hard work ruined. You're a bunch of nasty. All your kind. They take the erroneous belief that we are evil. The work we do is wrong. We enrich lives here. We save and protect oh, hey. all the wounded. You just keep changing and hate what is that? 
How did you miss? I was two feet in front of you. Why aren't they all using guns? You have a gun right there. Ow, how did that how did I not block that? Where did you even come from? When did I get a gun? You didn't notice that. Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! Oh no, my enemy has a mind control device. Why did I not consider this? everything on the line for what so you could rescue your father yeah I thought I said please grab that <laughs> just leave it here life drain like Ezio either. Well, that happened. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. We'll do that. I don't know where to go, though. Like, seriously, where... Where be pa here? Wow. A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive. But his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for, for us. us. So I'm headed the right direction.
Okay, now what? Maybe, maybe not the right direction. I think I'm, yeah, right direction. Cutscenes equal direction. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body, a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles to dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? Something wrong, like what? Uh... I just climbed up this way, so... Aha! That didn't take long at all. Oh, hey, I'm back. Let's talk to the folks. Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set up Sturgo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. That lip sync. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. It'll take many deaths. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. <laughs> Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. Vidic threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. I don't care about what the others have to say, so... Let's check our email. Why can't I sort by date received? Alright. Your kind. Blah, 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 blah.
I promise I'll be careful. And then I got captured. There were discs here once. I threw them into the abyss. They were meant for you, filled with lies. You don't need such things. Oh yeah, you're so trustworthy. You're going to be here soon. Great. And we'll continue in the next video. Where's the animus? There it is.